So many of you probably or possibly know that I, I shoot uh, this camera. This camera right up here is a ZV-1 and it's the newest camera to the channel. Uh, and it re actually replaced a, an iPhone that used to be the top-down camera. Um, so uh, I got it for a couple reasons. And the big one primarily was this, right? For, for this, sh this shot right here that I can do this with because I love that whole product showcase feature. I think that's just fantastic. But I also have been using it a lot uh, whenever we do any kind of vlog things. And you know, this has been one of the biggest, I wanna say issues I think with the ZV-1 that was out there because they marketed, marketed this as a vlogging camera. And we've, we've talked about a few different kind of uh, like selfie sticks and controllers that you can get for the ZV-1, ZV-1, however you wanna say it, uh, that get that camera out further. But you know what, let's be honest, sometimes you just don't have it with you or you don't want to be holding a selfie stick or the shot is coming up right away and you need to get the camera out now so you don't need to be trying to mount it to any kind of stick. I get it. So we actually got the Ulanzi WL1. This is it here. I'll bring it up a little closer for you guys. This is it right here. And this is the uh, 18 millimeter, they call it the 18 millimeter wide uh, angle lens for the ZV-1. Now it's a, a wide as well as a macro and you'll see that a lot with, especially lenses that you used to see or still see on things like iPhones. It's like the dual lens that's put together. It's got the macro and then you screw on the wide and they kind of work in partnership with each other. Um, so we're, we're gonna take a look at what comes in the box and we're gonna mount it on the ZV-1. So that's gonna be a little harder, I think, for me to show you guys. I'm gonna try because this is the camera that I would normally film it with, this camera up here. So hopefully this camera over here will possibly pick it up. All right, let's 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 see what's in the box and then we'll, we'll see what kind of uh, difference you get. All right, coming up. So, um, this has been out, I don't even know, I think this came out just slightly after the actual ZV-1 came out because there was such a, I don't want to say uproar, but there was that concern with, with like, oh, it's a 24 mil, which is fine if you got, especially if you got fairly long arms. But if you turned on the active steady shot, uh, it cropped in a fair bit and it got you probably closer to like a 28 or a 30. Now that's, that's, you got like a headshot, right? You got a headshot and it, I don't like that look. Maybe you, some people do. I want to get out a little further. I like this shot is what I like when I'm, when I'm vlogging, uh, or even wider if you can. Um, so you you release this and it's smart. Uh, and the hope is that they, you know, it gets it out far enough and I, far enough, far enough, gets it out far enough. Um, and I think that they didn't go wider because as you go wider of course you would start to probably bring in a lot of distortion on the edges so we'll take a look we'll take a look all right so here it is this is the box again you guys can see it right there the wl1 additional wide angle lens for cameras but especially as you can see here um for the zv1 now again one one star review but there's the this has been reviewed all over the place uh, and everybody seems to like it uh Right now, Canadian, you're looking at about $57. That's 40-ish, 40-something-ish dollars US. Um, there you go. Ulanzi, QR codes, et cetera, et cetera. If you want to go check their site out for other stuff. And many of you know that come to the channel, you uh, probably realize that I actually like the Ulanzi stuff. Uh, it's, it's good. It's very budget-friendly, which is fantastic. And it does a good job. You know, I, I, I like. So, no complaints. All right, let's uh, open that up. Nice crinkly sound too, right? All right, there we go. You guys see that okay? Oh, oh, all right, Ulanzi, anything here? Uh, really small. I've noticed as I get older, you know, I need, I need bigger fonts, I'm just saying. All right, so this is the manual. 
Uh, one side is, my guess is Japanese, the other side will be maybe English, Dutch, Japanese, Japanese, Japanese. Oh, there, there's English. Okay, English is right there. So, uh, and then I guess you get in maybe another language, maybe a Chinese. Okay, so here we go. But it is small. I'm going to say it. Instructions. Uh, the instructions are have better eyes, I guess. Right? I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. We're going to do it here on the channel. We're going to figure it out together. Okay, then... Then you get this. I like, oh, look at that. That's pretty solid, actually. You know, here you go. You guys can see that there. That's actually, yeah, nice and solid. I, I wasn't sure if it's going to have a plasticky feel. It's got a nice cap to it, which is great. You guys can see it there. You know, right? Yeah, that's, that's all right. I like that. That's good. It's a solid cap. And I think it's actually got like a... It's got a thread on it, which is awesome, because then you could put like an ND filter on the on the, the the lens if you felt like it. And then there's the back. Yeah, that's okay. And and of course, once I get that on there, these two, these two should be able to separate right there. So this, by its lonesome. is the macro part, right? You like wide angle macro, 52 mil right there on that side. I'm guessing maybe it's 52 all the way through, maybe. All right. Be pleased, pleased with that sound, 52. I might actually have a 52 mil uh, ND filter floating around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, and then, then you get, that's it. So this is the little sticky ring that goes on your camera. So this is the ring. It's got a little piece of three, it's like a, I, I wanted to say 3M tape. It doesn't look like it's 3M, it's whatever tape. That goes around the lens. And then this threads on to that when you need it. That's it. That's what's that's what's going down. So it's going down, and you get oops, you get a little cleaning cloth, and you get what is this? Oh, extra ones. I guess if you have to pull it off for whatever reason, maybe you don't line it up properly or whatever. Look, see, you get some extra ones of these. Oh, it is 3M. Yeah, so one's on there already. My guess is if for whatever reason you have to take it off. Um, then then you got you got extra rings should we do this okay uh i'm gonna pause this one and this is coming down ready here it is there it is right proof proof in the pudding i like pudding it's off topic but as an adult i don't we don't eat enough pudding we don't eat enough pudding so this this really, I'm trying to see how this just goes, my guess is it goes just like that. I keep looking up to this camera, there isn't one there. You guys, right? I, my guess is, you guys see that okay? It just, it just sits, it just sits there. And then what happens is, as this raises, right? If it would have come up, it would just, it would sit on there. So the real question is, do you want to put it on, do you want to put it on when, the, when it's extended? And I'm gonna say you wanna get it really close. You're gonna kinda of look down on it, right? Just, just like that and be like, boom. This is where good young eyes play play a role, I think. Okay, here it goes. Hopefully, I don't know if you guys can see that, all right? I'm gonna, I'm taking this off. Taking the sticker part off. Yep. And the key is, and I'm gonna do it here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you this. The key is, don't be imp don't be impatient. Don't be impatient. Is that coming off easy? Yep. All right. Don't be impatient and be like, okay, I got it on. Now I'm gonna go shoot. No. Once it's on. All right. There we go. 
You're gonna let it sit. You gotta let it sit, right? Give that a clean. Give that a clean. I'm getting down over top of it. Okie dokie, and slowly, slowly coming down. You don't want anything to be, I think. I'm coming over a little bit more, I think right there. No, nope, a little bit more, I'm just gonna try not to get it too much pressure on it, you see? Just kind of getting it in that right spot. It's hard. I'm gonna angle it. I think I think I think we're pretty good. I don't know over a hundred percent. But I think we're pretty good. I'm just going to give it a little bit of pressure. Okay, then we're going to bring the lens down. Did I do this right? I don't know. Okay, we're going to apply a little bit more pressure. Not a lot of pressure, just a little bit. And then, I'm actually going to put this on. Now, I'm not going to use it, but I just want it because it gives it a little bit of extra weight on it. Right, so I'm gonna take this, and this would just go like so. Now the camera looks all beefy. Give it a push. Okay. Looks looks good. Looks looks all right. Look at that. Hey, that's all beefy now. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna let that sit there. I'm gonna let it sit for like like I don't know like an hour or so, and we'll we'll come back. All right, we'll take it. Maybe we'll take it outside. Yeah, we'll take it outside once it stops raining. It's raining again, um, and then we'll see the difference between normal and with this. All right, stay tuned. Okay, so we're upstairs right now. The kitchen's a little bit of a mess, but I'm making myself breakfast, so it's okay. Um, uh, this is the camera right now, the ZV1, with like no stabilization on it. So I'm pretty steady. But as you're walking around, of course, you will probably see some shake. Now what we're gonna do is turn on the active. Now I don't have the Ulanzi lens attached. This is just the camera by itself. But I actually like, I like this width. Again, depending on how long your arm is. Okay, hold on. Okay, and there's, there's that talking, kind of talking head, right? That I was talking about, like it's, it's tight. And this is about as far out as I can get it right now. So I've got the active on, which, I love the active, it works really good, but look how tight that is, you know, that's, that's tight. All right, let's, let's put on the uh, Ulanzi wide and we'll, we'll see how that works. Hold on. Okay, so first off, this is the Ulanzi wide with the image stabilization turned off. That is lovely wide actually and I want you guys really to kind of focus like out here wherever that is like somewhere so right there like not much for distortion at least on the screen it doesn't look like it and because it's just naturally wider cameras automatically tend to stabilize a bit better and if you were to want to run this through post you could probably stabilize it even more so let's let's turn the active on all right hold on all right, and there's the active. See, that's better. That's almost very similar to what it was like with the non-active, the no stabilization. Uh, so like a 24, maybe maybe a bit wider, actually, maybe a bit wider. But yeah, that's that's very good, right? And that's just me at arm's reach. You guys, hold on. See, just you you, you know, I'm not holding anything else. There you go. That's that's my what happened here. My ISO is playing around on me. I don't know what's happening. I had my ISO on auto and then my finger touched a button and it went to 200. So anyways, we're back. See that's, that's way better, you know? Oh yes, that's much better. And I make, like I said, making breakfast. So I'm gonna do one more thing just for fun sakes. Uh, we're gonna put it on a little selfie stick not that long of a selfie stick, just to see how much further we can get it out. Oh yeah, all right, hold on. 
All right, so I thought the rain had stopped, but it hasn't. But I wanted you guys to see how far, and I'm, I'm taking the camera out in the rain a little bit. It is what it is. Let's go for a walk. You guys will get to see how far you can get out with like a little selfie stick. Oh, maybe a bad idea. Maybe a bad idea. But look how stable that is, you know? That's awesome, stable, I think. All right, little turn. Going down some stairs. Hopefully there's not too much water on the lands. It's not as bad the rain as it was, but see the drippy water? Oh, yep. All right, let's go back inside and go downstairs and uh, talk a little bit about this lens from Ulanzi. All right, in we go. Oh, rainy. Oh. oh, wet outside. So wet outside. So we're just gonna be shooting with just the one camera for now. So this is it, right? Right there, you guys can see it. That's it. Uh, I like it, I, I do. The one thing, just so you guys are aware, uh, because it's just on with the sticky, I don't know if you guys can see this or hear this maybe, listen. I don't know if you can hear that, and we'll try to see if you can see that. There's just, it's, there's just a little tiny bit of wobble. A little tiny bit of wobble where the, the sticker part attaches to the camera. Is that a big deal? No, but it's there. So just, there's a little, just a little tiny bit. Is that gonna fall off? I don't think so, like, like that's on there. Right, I think the the, the key uh, for for a lot of us is that when we get this, when we put it on on here, that we give it time to actually uh, adhere to the camera body. Right, we don't just put it on and go out and start shooting because it doesn't it hasn't had a chance to really stick itself to the body yet. So, like for me, I, like I said, I put it on, I let the lens sit there, so it added some weight down onto the sticky, the glue, so that it stuck better. Uh, I don't think that's coming off, unless I really gave it a good yank, right? Then of course it's coming off, it's just a sticker. Um, but I do love the width, right? Even at arms, arms reach, just like arms reach out here, definitely wide enough if you got yourself like the little Sony handle grip thing or one of the third-party ones uh, gets it out just a little bit further even better and if you can get like a selfie stick like I had I was using a selfie stick uh, it's still upstairs it was about yay long not much longer than that just enough to get it out fantastic at that point it's like nice and wide so I was I was really happy and if you uh, just shoot it with no uh, no stabilization and just put it on a tripod you can get it just at that 18 right so you can get it even wider than it is because 24 to 18 that's that's a nice that's a nice field of view 18 um, so yeah I think that's really good you know what for the fact that these are Canadian 60 ish dollars was it in the 50 ish dollars 50 something dollars I think it was it's great. It makes the camera look nice and beefy too, which I kind of like, you know, it looks, it looks a lot more now with that on it. It looks a lot more like the ZV E10, I think. Um, but the ZV E10 comes with like a, what is it? 16 to 35, I think it is mil lens. That's really limited, right? It's also a hundred dollars more. Uh, so for less money, you could buy the ZV one and this, basically have uh, with this lens on you get the 18 and with it off you get like what is it 70 75 or 70 it is I think it's 70 and then if you turn the stabilizer you get a little bit more distance so you get a pretty wide range actually so with that little add-on this is still you know what uh, I bought this camera like I said in regards to shooting as a top-down camera Super, super great. And this little add-on lens is gonna just up its game even more. Just give it a lot more versatility and usefulness for shooting different things. Is it gonna be on there all the time? No, 
but when I need that extra width, especially with vlogging, with, if I'm doing vlogging, this is on there 100%. And uh, it's pretty cool. And if you really feel like it, you can take it off, right? Like this. There's me doing this again, right? And now you've got, you've got this and it's just a macro lens. You can get like crazy. Like there's me shooting shooting the the actual rim what else here let's shoot let's shoot the keyboard right like i'm literally have the lens on the keyboard that's how close it is like that's really cool last but not least i don't even know if i can do this ready can i see myself no i'll get right in there not enough light though probably like that maybe I don't even know what, the, what it's gonna look like maybe that's cool maybe I don't know yeah thumbnail all right guys uh, I think it's a great investment if you got like 50 60 bucks you you have a ZV one you just want it to be wider to get it just get it uh, I'm gonna leave links to Banggood's website down below because that's where uh, we got it from And that's it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that little notification bell, and we will see you fine folks in tomorrow's video. Later, guys. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I see. My my wind my wind fluffy got in there. Better.